Today's Tuesday, January 2nd. Today's my big date in court. I'm just sitting here. I feel like I stepped in, stepped into the twilight. The more this journey takes me to with the comet and the constellation and the history, I remind myself, stay focused. Stay focused, even though it might sound crazy. But before I get to the comet, this is that's from that X class. So this is what they projecting. As we know already, the magnetic field is weak. But just get into this real quick. How do I start? I saw this today, this right here. Let's magnify it a little bit. Now, this book was written. It's called titled The End of Eden, Comet That Changed Civilization by Graham Phillips, published in 2007. He points out that in 1486 BC, the earth passed through the tail of comet, even Pacific names it until that time many civilizations many major civilizations like the Hittites the, the people that build those stones builders or Stonehenge the old man it just goes on and on and on all these cultures they were peaceful and then they fell into war the comet released some toxic substance that he suggests could have connected the fight or flight which produced violence a little there a little about that there Graham Phillips there's a video of Graham Phillips the end of Eden it's actually shown on two Okay, there's a lot, there's a lot of information here where he's giving a lecture on the book he wrote. There's more. Now, if you read this from Simon and Schuster about his book, it gives deep little information about the comedy. And I looked at his bio and he, apparently he did a lot of research. He has his reference. He must, he put a lot of research and for him to name that particular comet back in that time period is something else. This is 2007. The book was published basically talks about the tale and the calamity of prior civilizations or violence you know people becoming zombies zombies type warlike individuals i mean this is uh, a lot of stuff here to wrap my mind contaminated the atmosphere with a chemical known to cause aggressive behavior and then he talks about volcanoes the volcanoes that blew up right north of egypt during the time of the pharaoh the island he puts it in that time period so i started you know let me just do some random check so I went on Wikipedia and started doing some yeah, the years that passed close by. Well, we know about 1812, the Madrid fault. Okay, so I said, well, you know, that's uh, coincidental. Coincidence, coincidence. But then I uh, I checked some of these dates when it was around to see. I took this one, for example, what happened. In, so I did a quick check to see what happened on that year. Also compare some of these other years, too. And uh, yes, there was a lot of seven pointers plus, but this, that happens all the time. But it just happened to be the month and the uh, year of the close approach of the particular of this comet so i said okay that's no coincidence but records for earthquake back then was wasn't kept so i had no success so i said let me just check 1883 and see what happened in 1883 it's around september when i went to 1883 in the time period of that year this volcano here erupted over there by indonesia it was a major explosion in one of the deadliest and most destructive volcanic event in recorded history a lot more here stories there's the there's the year and the, the time period so okay more coincidence so i'll leave that there so much here 